learn from history and we must go our own way before it is too late. Thank you, Mark. Right at the five minute mark, Gazi. So what do you and your organizations believe in addressing the solution of racial inequity? I want to be very first clear of who was driving the m- Lamborghini in the first place because who spends in movies and on, on your rotten ass hoe, old ass, white, honky ass, old crooked hope the bitch dies tomorrow with her pedophile ass son? You know what they said, dummy? They said they f- Lamborghini. They said they found it in the gold that we had. <laughs> Clean. American schools are hotbeds of anti American brainwashing. Teachers and administrators are trained to indoctrinate and enforce ideological conformity. Submission is the norm. Crucible is the true story of one schoolboy's struggle against society's obsession with an anti-American ideology. This young man refused to surrender to the psychological abuse of his superiors and the violence of his peers. In Crucible, Child Patriot American Victory, two visions of America collide. One is left standing.
tattoos, to how you identify yourself and your beliefs, to discerning your motivations for why you want to see the children of the West survive. Don't make my mistakes. You'll feel like a fool otherwise. Don't make my mistakes. As from Nathaniel Nelson, a warning to him about the warnings that he wished he had somebody share with him. chest and the air that fills my lungs. I'll hold my tears and trade my ears for a glimpse at kingdom come. On the other side of misery, there's a world we long to see. The strife we share will take us there to relief and sovereignty. Oh my God, we'll Towns where foreigners now our names are spat and cursed. The headline smack of another attack, not the last and not the worst. Oh, my fathers, they look down on me. I wonder what they feel to see their noble sons driven down beneath. A coward's heel. Oh my God, we'll have our home again. My God, we'll have our home. By blood or sweat, we'll get there yet. My God, we'll have our home. The road is dark, the way is lost. My eyes, they strain to see. I struggle forth to find a friend to light the way for me. Oh, brothers, can you hear my voice or am I all alone? If there's no fire to guide my way, then I will start my own. Oh, my God. And we are going free, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, let me know if you can hear me okay. We're not going to be here very long. We do have at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time coming up in just uh, under two hours, the great premiere of our very own Jared George. His real, his real musical side is coming out, and this is 
as far as I'm concerned, uh, gold record material. Uh, he is not just another amateur, uh, but uh, he's still learning nonetheless, but he is a magnificent uh, performer. And uh, so we're gonna be hearing his song and we will share that link uh, in the live chat. In fact, I will do that right now for his upcoming, his upcoming premiere tonight, just under two hours away. Make sure you do not miss this tonight. I see a bunch of wonderful people here. Hallelujah, 41 BMC, Simon, Machiavellia sucks. This, these are of course the, the advanced placements. So the folks who come here are the absolute best. Cloudscape is here, hello to you. Rub it up media, Euphemia Singe. I've got information and this is why I say you people are in uh, the advanced placement class. They don't tell uh, people in the regular classes everything that's going on. You don't get access to behind the scenes sort of things uh, he, uh, anywhere else. And uh, so we're gonna be sharing that here. A lot of stuff going on right now. There are a couple stories that are public. There are some other things that are not uh, public and I will, I'll kind of blur the line there so that uh, we don't necessarily run the risk uh, of risks that could be uh, in, that could become genuine uh, threats for doing such things. Simon uh, and 41 BMC, I was saying, Elaine is here, so is Carol. Great to see you, dear sis sister. So, uh, and I mentioned Euphemia. C. McGee is here, great to see you. Althea is here, don't know who the song is by. We'll find out though. Vivian is here, hello to you. Uh, and uh, so is Ken, uh, hello to you, brother. And I'm just jumping through, walking through the great gathering here of here, Shauna Shaw, Nordic Iron, DM, uh, great to see you uh, as well. And Sox Rebellion and uh, No White Gill Clips, great to see you. Mr. Puppy is here. High five back to you. Kat is uh, a, a, with a with a last name that I won't say. Corey is here. Promethean hails to you. Jared George is here. Uh, great to see you, dear brother. And we will be talking about uh, you more. Oh my goodness, we are so in sync. I literally popped in the second you were starting to talk about my music, he writes. That's fantastic. Yonash, uh, from Ian Hales and Ahoy to you, my dear brother. Justin Lee, uh, Yiz, the great Yiz is here, the new great uh, content producer for White Wellbeing. Okay, I'm gonna be taking, here's Jennifer, and thank you so much, Jennifer, for the package and uh, Promethean greetings and uh, gratitude to you for that. Thank you for going out of your way for me, thank you. And let's see, Richard Wagner is here. Yeah, let's get excited, folks. We're gonna, we're gonna take back our destiny. That's what they need to do with that song next, is reclaiming our destiny. So I'm gonna take a look at some of these uh, things that are going on right now. I, I put in the title of this, uh, this very brief going free that, because I've got to get to some other things and to be back here in, in order to uh, in order to be here for Mr. George. So, uh, and there's no way I'm missing that. Faustian Spirit, great to see you. The, uh, I put in the title, Pennsylvania uh, Civil War, uh, yay or nay, is, it, is, is there such a thing? There is a contest right now in Pennsylvania taking place for uh, the power uh, that will be will be implemented vis-a-vis -vis the United States government. And uh, so the, in, the state legis the entire state legislature is meeting and uh, at Gettysburg, I believe, and they are discussing a great many things and things are going on record. The media, as far as I know, at least when we started on P uh, PWR two hours ago, uh, when we started on PWR two hours ago, I do not believe the media, regime's media was reporting much or anything about what was what was taking place right at that very moment, uh, really historical, uh, a really historical event in the history of the United States of America. And uh, there's a lot of reason for that, uh, a lot of reasons. Could it be, I'm just going to say, because here we're not saying that anything is fact. I do not speak for YouTube. I give both sides of the story as best as I can and make sure you look elsewhere for the rest of the story so that you have a, a rounded understanding of everything taking place in the world. And of course, you know, the other place to go is CNN. Could it be right now, could it be at this moment that the anti-whites, whether they're in the regime's media or wherever else they might be, whatever name they might go by, uh, could it be that they are implementing a strategy that I have, t I have named fait accompli uh, of course, you could look up what exactly what that means. It just means it's it just means it's done, 
and uh, you can't be undone. So they've implemented a strategy of fait accompli. Uh, and uh, if um, the, the idea then, or is this the case that, that they have done this? And then the idea would be, if that is the case, that uh, they want to present to you that the president elect, the, the election, et cetera, is, is done, it's decided, there is no contest, there, at least nothing legitimate. Now, this is the position of the Democrats in the United States, that uh, there is, there's no legitimate contest to the election. It's finished and they want to move forward full force and uh, so that it's harder to arrest that momentum. Uh, and you see that uh, across the regime's media, the anti-white media, that indeed uh, we see this a, this a building of momentum it's as though everything has been decided when indeed there is a lot of uh, legitimate, uh, at least uh, we can say the Republicans believe so, a lot of legitimate concerns and objections and legal challenges to uh, different uh, anomalies and aberrations in the, the voting. According to the Republicans, they believe that there were anomalies and aberrations. The Democrats do not believe so. And we have seen precious little uh, by way of the regime's media, irrespective of what a, whatever country you're in across the West, uh, to speaking to the Republicans and the allegations that they are making. Now, mind you, when these when these uh, the conversation is broached by the regime's media, it's to say that uh, no evidence or not enough evidence or baseless claims have been presented. And of course, it's not the job of the Republican Party or the campaign for Donald Trump to make their legal case in the public uh, forum, especially because they know the sort of treatment that they're going to get from the anti-whites in the regime's media. So right now, and this has been happening today, in the state of Pennsylvania, the state legislators are meeting and uh, going on record at the state level of Pennsylvania with many of uh, the these uh, affidavits. So these are sworn statements under oath for which you can be, uh, I don't know what the ultimate penalty is for perjury, but, uh, but quite severe. Something to consider also is that people who consider themselves uh, conservatives or uh, you know, not necessarily Republicans, because we see how there are a great many white collar criminals and the like among the Republicans. But the kind of people who normally vote uh, for Republicans, Tea Party types uh, and constitutionalists and these sorts of people, uh, they are not the kind to recklessly, on, on average, not the kind to recklessly go on oath, especially in a context where people uh, where we see the law expanded to punish those we see, uh, who are not anti-white enough. We see the law ignored when uh, people who are not anti-white enough can be victimized. Uh, and so they don't take, people don't take that lightly. They certainly don't take it lightly when, and you have to research this for yourself because it is not being reported. In fact, I think there was only one report that I've seen and I was shared with me uh, by Carlisle, and can we get a great big round of raucous emojis for Carlisle and her tireless work uh, looking into these sorts of things. And uh, about, I think it was, well, it was one of the New York publications that barely spoke to the sort of uh, colossal, voluminous threats against people's lives and the like for everyone who is uh, who is in some way encumbering or inhibiting or slowing down this march to the presidency by, uh, we'll just call him President Joe Biden. And uh, these individuals are claiming whether it is true or, or not, you'll have to look into it for yourself. The regime's media is not going to report on it. They are claiming, and there are, there are police reports and you can find these as well. These things are, the police reports are public, so you can look into that for yourself. And you know what, you're gonna have to look into it for yourself, because I'm just gonna tell you what some other people are claiming. Everybody who is, all the way down to Republican staffers uh, and uh, people in the law firms and their clients and people in these different uh, branches of government, uh, the GSA 
and their staffs, they are having, they're claiming that they are having bricks thrown through their windows of their homes with articles of their clothing in envelopes from inside their home with letters saying, we've been in your house. And if you continue with this, you continue supporting what, what these individuals who are doing this are claiming is trying to steal the election from President Joe Biden. If you continue doing that, uh, then you are going to, and the sort of experience and the sort of threats are I, that they're claiming are being made against them. And you can see in the police reports, these threats, if you look for yourself, they may be there, maybe they're not there. Maybe, maybe all of these people are making up that they're being threatened. Um, so you need to understand both sides to get the whole picture. But they're, they're saying things about if you are a female about you, and if you are male in one of these positions, uh, they're saying about your, the females in your lives, that they are going to bring them uh, to the point of death without killing them, and then horribly torture, rape them uh, for as long as they can keep them alive doing that, and then finally uh, killing them, letting them die and keeping them just uh, on the limb of death, conscious enough so that they can feel the pain, they can know all of the horror that's taking place. Similar things for their, their animals, their pets. Uh, and again, this is claimed by the Republicans, Republican staffers, people in the GSA, people in these law firms. They're making these sorts of claims about the pressure that's being exerted on them. Now, what is happening in response to this? This is hardcore, mafia level uh, threats and, and witness intimidation claims. Uh, what's happening in response? What are the district attorneys doing? What are the, uh, uh, when, when it comes to charging these individuals? Well, the Republicans and uh, the people in these different branches of government and these law firms, what they're claiming is happening is that, and this speaks to the reality that we shared here and continue to share, that there has been a, a, a an end of an epoch, there is a new epoch where the anti-whites control enough nodes of power that there can't be the sort of uh, blowback that you normally have in an election that people like the idiot Richard Spencer were claiming, I guess, claiming that could be the case, that people would push back or, uh, and others, others like idiotic like him, that there would be a, a pushback. There's not that possibility anymore evidenced over the entirety of the summer and the way the DAs across the country and sheriffs and the like have been handling uh, these claimed uh, attacks of various types, witness intimidation or participant intimidation, uh, legal uh, uh, representation uh, and, and intimidating them as well. Claims, of course, uh, the, the Democrats have not spoken to these things as far as I know. So as far as I know, they would say that they're not happening. But the these who are being uh, attacked and, and this happening throughout every single day are claiming that the DAs are saying essentially, well, you weren't killed, you weren't dead. Uh, and of course, they respond with yet. And uh, they're saying, well, they're not going to the DAs are not going to press charges uh, that the individuals will have to press charges or if the DA is going to press charges and all this is all across the country that it will be for the smallest uh, crime or law that was broken for the individuals who were apprehended doing the, the and making the threats and, and uh, attacking the homes and attempting to, and being arrested while breaking into people's homes, while breaking into people's apartments uh, and uh, while destroying people's cars and on and on that they are only charging them with the, the least charge that they can. And that if you, you want uh, the charges that should be filed, then you have to uh, press the charges, which then puts you out on the public record as well, which again, I said, we don't know if all of these people who are claiming to experience all of this terrorism right now, whether any of it's true, I'm not saying it's true. You have to go look at the police records uh, across the country to see if this is actually happening. And uh, if you press charges, all of your information then becomes public for all of the anti-whites uh, across the country and indeed around the world to find you and to ramp up, to magnify 
the terror that you are experiencing. So having the whoever it, it might be terrorize you, whatever group who might know where you live and your phone number. And, and these people are claiming, ladies and gentlemen, this is the full gambit. This makes them, this actually makes La Casa Nostra look like a joke. They are finding out these people. The claim is that they're finding out these people's phone numbers. They are texting them relentlessly from and calling them and leaving disgusting, threatening messages. Law enforcement is unable to track them down. This again is our claims, not my claims. I'm reporting claims to you that other people are making and you have to check into it. Uh, and breaking into, hacking into these people's home security systems, turning them on and turning them off at will, uh, watching you through your own surveillance cameras at your homes, telling you what you're wearing, what you were doing in your backyard, and in, in the most in, intimidating fashion, uh, saying like, oh, it would be a shame if you're standing out back uh, with your children and X, Y, or Z happens, you know, when you were out there and little Johnny had the red jumper on, uh, that sort of thing is horrific to experience. And these people are claiming that it's happening and you're seeing a great many people who are quitting. That's not being reported. Uh, so please look into it for yourself as well until CNN says it's fact or Snopes says it's fact. But Republican staffers, people working for these different uh, uh, firms, however they are involved, are are quitting in massive numbers, as you might imagine, uh, because uh, they just they can't be protected. Law enforcement will happily show up after the fact, uh, and uh, the and these people who are doing these acts, it's claimed, they are not receiving the punishment that they deserve. In fact, in some of these cases, there are claims that the people, even though they are arrested in the midst of doing X, Y, or Z, like uh, another claim that was made and you're not going to find, you're not going to, you'll have to go look at for police records, uh, all over the place, look in Pennsylvania for police records, if you'd like, uh, but look uh, all over in these contested States uh, in particular, but wherever these firms or organizations are, and I see we're coming up at the half hour mark. So I've got to, I've got to get to this news, but this is the news as well, uh, because you have to understand what's actually taking place in the United States. Bum rush the house, home invasion style, and uh, rush it with with a uh, half a dozen or, or more uh, of folks destroying the home and rushing through the home looking for uh, people if they're home and spray painting uh, things on the walls and pouring paint all over the floor, you know, to look like blood and everything else under the sun. Look up for look up the police reports to see if that's actually taking place, because I'm sure. It's not. I'm sure CNN will tell you it's not. And so therefore it doesn't exist. So widespread uh, things found uh, in mailboxes, uh, just I, just the most disgusting, whatever you, whatever you can imagine for witness intimidation that the mafia could ever do. And the Godfather movie is a joke compared to what's happening here, getting into every aspect of your life and coming from all of these places that you otherwise thought were uh, inviolable and uh, un unassailable. So what we have here is, so you know that, then that if these claims are true, if they are true, and they're probably not, just ask CNN, if they're true, then the people who are remaining are really enduring a living hell. And in fact, I think the, the woman in charge at GSA was saying that still receiving, even though she released the funds so that President Biden can... Uh, use the many millions of taxpayer dollars to set up his wonderful transition team and then assume the presidency. She's still receiving, she claims, the threats. And I think some of hers involved a horrific torture of uh, her pets. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Now these, in Pennsylvania right now, you, uh, Giuliani is in Pennsylvania right now, Gettysburg, I think it is and uh, the legislators, the state legislators are meeting. The, what they are discussing is uh, the electors. The state, you have to understand, can, has a popular vote. The state then, based on the popular vote, can do one of two things. They can send electors that will represent the popular vote of the state, or 
the state government can send electors that will represent the state and so, so the government in the state. So the legislature in Pennsylvania is Republican. They can look at the evidence presented to them by the Trump campaign, and they can then determine, is this is this uh, legitimate? Does it seem like there was a widespread voter fraud? Uh, it is, it is, is it, uh, does the evidence accord with the claims? And the big, the big bombshell, and I don't know if it's been, we'll just say it has been reported. How does that sound? Uh, is that there are claimed now at least three, at least three affidavits from insiders who had participated in the fraud in Pennsylvania and uh, that they are looking for, I think, witness protection. Uh, I think it was uh, Senator Mastriano who asked Giuliani this question, and it might be uh, uh, being reported right now. So this would be massive news. I mean, if this is true, if it's true, if there are people who were instructed and participated in some sort of fraud, it would be it would be just massive news, and uh, and keep your eyes and ears open. So the state then can send electors to give the state's electoral college votes to whomever they want. They can give them to Donald Trump, even though the state, uh, the popular vote of the state went to Joe Biden. So you need to understand that that can happen in the United States of America. And this is what they are discussing right now. So let me just take a look at some of this. Uh, and uh, yeah, Giuliani is in Gettysburg. And just let me just slide through this really quickly. And I'll take a look if you, if you all have any questions. But again, we're not going to be here long because remember, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have the great Jared George is going to be debuting his music that I think is gold record uh, worthy and not no amateur. This guy is really talented, knows his stuff. You're going, even if it's not your type of music, you're going to be appreciate the professionalism of it. Uh, let's see. There is a, a special warfare uh, of, I guess, a former special warfare operator is what we call them uh, from the Navy. And he is even going on, went on record, I think, up in PA about this uh, software. I'm not going to say any of the names of the software. It goes by numerous names. You can look it up for yourself uh, because I'm sure our big sister AI is listening. But uh, him and some others going on record that uh, they know how this operates and have... Uh, uh, what do they have like contacts or, or information, whistleblower type information on uh, how the software operates and that the software was connected to the internet and that votes were manipulated by the software. Um, claims, claims, but going on record at, in the state government in Pennsylvania uh, with affidavits. So, enormous news because uh, this is this is the same sort of fight that is taking place in these contested states across the United States. And it would speak to something systemic if it took place, if it's proven to have taken place in Pennsylvania, then it speaks to the uh, potential, uh, significant potential of it being a systemic issue and uh, then there's, there are also some claims about starting off at a specific vote count. You're going to have to look into all of these uh, for yourself. There are a couple of news stories. Right now, I'm going to share one more time, uh, or not just one more time, but again, Jared George's link. Remember, set this up on your tab so you don't miss this. And uh, I'm going to quickly slide through our wonderful gathering here. And uh, thank, uh, happy that a, a few folks have shown up to... to get this information, this powerful information uh, as it's coming in, as it's happening on the inside. And uh, the, let's see, we had, of course, we have this Sidney Powell in the news, this attorney uh, claiming that uh, in Arizona, that there were 35,000 votes given to every 
Democrat candidate just to start off the voting. And she's uh, she's going to be, apparently she's claiming that she's going to bring evidence forward of that. Uh, of course, uh, because of uh, where we are right now, I'm going to go ahead and say it's got to be false. Uh, just wait for CNN to give you the information on it and Snopes to verify. We also have the, what every, I think what most people are reading because it's in the news is that the ju a judge in Pennsylvania blocks the state from certifying the election results. So that's going to come as a big surprise to many people in the United States and around the world because you all are uh, under the impression that uh, President Joe Biden is already president. The media has said so. And so it's, it's finished. Uh, big tech has said so. So it's finished um, that the it, everything has already been certified uh, and uh, decided. And according to the Democrats, it has. According to the Republicans, it has not. We don't like the Republicans. Remember, and we'll say that over and over again here, very legitimately, the Republican Party is not white positive. The Republican Party does not care about white people. I worked on the Hill and I left working on the Hill because of how wretched the Republicans actually are, because of how they gave all of their time and all of their attention to what can we do for every non-white group in the country. Now, I, I, I and, and a couple of the self-proclaimed victim groups and uh, intentionally ignore, and I talk about that in Born Guilty, my book, intentionally ignoring the white population saying, well, the white, white people have nowhere else to go. They're just gonna have to, they're just gonna have to uh, vote for us or not vote at all. So we do not like the Republicans. Nonetheless, the Republicans are not going to, uh, are not going to permit, they do not want to allow the bills and the like that the Democrats are going to bring forward. And there's going to be, I'm gonna be addressing again on Sunday, the bill I was reading from last week but I'm going to also address a new bill that, uh, or not new, it's it, it's uh, making its way through uh, right now, and it will be uh, through the government in the United States, and this will be a gambit for uh, the Biden presidency and the Democrats. If, I'll, I'll say this right now, if in Georgia, you the Republicans get one Republican senator and the Democrats win one Democrat senator, and Joe Biden sits in the White House, uh, Kamala will be uh, in the Senate. She will be able, the Democrats will then hold the Senate, they'll hold the House, they'll hold the presidency. And you'll see the bill called the Justice for Black Farmers Act. And it says here, it's equitable, the quote, equitable balancing of the scales after decades of systemic racism with the U.S. DA that disadvantaged black farmers, excluded them from loans and other programs, and prevented them from holding on to their land. 19th century great land transfers, uh, which generated trillions of dollars in wealth and beneficiaries and uh, to their heirs, quote, effectively precluded African Americans from participating. And uh, so it, I'm just going through quickly, just looking, and we'll take a look at this. But essentially, they, with this bill, essentially, they might be, uh, I'll say that because uh, we've got to be very careful, they might be talking about land uh, uh, transfers, uh, land appropriation without compensation in the United States. They might be talking about that uh, with this bill. You're going to have to look at it for yourself, congress.gov, and I will give you the bill, uh, the number for the bill uh, it, by at latest this coming Sunday. And... Uh, uh, you'll see the kind of things that they are planning for the United States, the kind of things that the Democrats are planning for the United States that are, and Tucker Carlson uh, backing up, confirming what I've been saying now, reading these bills for week upon week upon week, while you have all of these imbeciles out there saying, oh no, vote for this party or don't vote at all uh, because they were throwing tantrums over Trump not being the savior that they, I told uh, everybody not to think, never put your faith in these people because you'll just be wildly let down. Nonetheless, Republicans, conservatives, Tea Party people, they stand to suffer severely as a, as a consequence of these bills. And you really have to have just a, barely a fair to Midland IQ to be able to understand that if another group is going to, or other groups are going to suffer wildly, that they're going to fight against that same thing 
without having to be your best friend, without having to care about the exact same things you care about. I mean, these people who are saying these things, they show up on the threads, they are the dumbest of the dumb, the lowest of the low, uh, and uh, we should just delete their comments and not pay any heed to them whatsoever. So it's a land grant program. The bill will create a farm conservation core, which focuses on young adults from socially disadvantaged communities, so non-white people, with USDA-funded apprenticeships on farms, the goal of providing, quote, academic, vocational, social skills necessary to pursue careers in farming and ranching, uh, while the program, this is the exact same kind of thing you saw in Rhodesia, the exact same kind of thing you saw in South Africa. Welcome to it in the United States of America. Now, the, the, la the I'll see what you all are saying, and I'm going to check out of here because we are rolling up on a quarter uh, to the hour. And uh, I see a bunch of folks are here. DG is here. Great to see you. Uh, dear sister, and uh, uh, Yiz, I mentioned you earlier. Uh, Francis is here. Wireless is here. Rick is here. Eternal Entropy is here. This is because we have reached this point because too many people have continued to listen, to document, uh, or to these people who document the doom or who dissect the doom or who, who are just philosophers, who are just entertainers, instead of doing pragmatic things or people who talk about uh, fleeing into the wilderness and hiding, you are not going to be able to hide from this. You are not going to be able to build a bunker that's going to protect you. You're not going to be able, all of that was as dumb as all these years I've been saying it was. All of it was that dumb. That's why we are here today. These bills are rolling out like a printing press from anti-whites who have called themselves Democrats. And they name again and again the white race as the problem that needs to be corrected by using euphemisms for the white race like racism and white supremacy and structural racism and on and on and on. And actually finally naming in all of these bills things they didn't used to do, uh, naming all of the groups that are going to be uh, advanced, enriched, and empowered at our expense. And when I say our, our expense is Western kind, and therefore your expense as a member of this, and you're not going to be able to be anti-white enough, face the reality. So we are here now because of all of those people. And we are here now because we have a community of people who are so socially, politically inept that they spent all of these years watching these people and then coming into uh, my community, coming into my circles, coming into my live chat and saying and contending with me, oh, it can't be go free. It's got to be what this professor said over here. It is your fault. It is your fault that we are here because you were too stupid to get the reality. You would rather just entertain yourself. You would rather so that you could be find an excuse to be lazy. Well, it's now you're out of time. You're out of time. People are there. People are claiming. How would you like to be one of those people? These are not. These are not people with swastika banners in, in their front yard. You dumbasses. These are people who merely w want the rule of law. These are people who merely and otherwise they're anti-white in every way, shape, or form. And they're having. Uh, they're having their uh, personal belongings from their dresser returned to them. With no no knowledge of how somebody got inside their house, these are the claims. Is this is the kind of world we're at now? So I'm sick. I'm I'm not, I'm done with with pampering these people. If you want to talk about running out of oxygen in ten thousand years or a thousand years, or you want to talk about all of this ancillary bullshit, you you are not in the white positive sphere. And, and you're not white positive. You should not be watched. Nobody should give you attention inside of this sphere. Anybody who cares about Western kind or Western civilization, you're done. We are finished with this shit. You want to talk about, you want to talk about violence. You want to, you, you see what they're going to do. They're going to drag your ass right out of your house for caring about the first amendment. What do you think they're going to do for being white and not being anti-white enough? What do you think they're going to do to you? If you say, well, you're white positive, uh, you want to protect white children from uh, anti-white ideas, you want to protect them from anti-whiteism and being infected with mean pathogens. We have to we have to mature fast. We have to be absolutely pitiless with these bastards uh, who are 
within the white positive sphere, in the MAGA sphere, there's no more time messing around. No more tolerating any of this. We have to be the most intolerant of all. Now, Trump has moved the judges around. Uh, he's, he's gone to the Supreme Court. He has used power that he has to move the, the Supreme Court judges to cover the districts that will be hearing the cases that are being brought forward by uh, his campaign. Whether those cases are legitimate or not, he has moved judges into place who are known for ruling according to the conservatives, uh, according to the rule of law relative to the types of cases that he and his campaign are bringing forward in those areas. So when you hear about things like in uh, Michigan, they refused the uh, to rescind the certification because you had a woman, as I understand, on these uh, on the board that had to certify the votes. And on a, a Zoom call, there may or may not have been, there's video, you all can watch, uh, comments about people know are going to know where your children go to school. People are going to know you forever as you and, and your children standing in the way uh, of, uh, of this, you know, anti-white dystopian hell that they want to bring on the world that they, that they love so much. And they're going to remember you for all time. They'll remember your children for all time. And then she goes away and then she comes back and says, OK, I've rescinded all of my objections and certify, certify and then steps back. Now, maybe that happened. Maybe it didn't look into it for yourself. I'm sure if Snope says it didn't happen, then it didn't. Then they tried to they tried to say, well, well she was pressured into it in the, in the United States, throughout the Western world. You can't pressure somebody into a contractual agreement, which is essentially what she was making in the performance of that role. And yet they did not allow her uh, to rescind that, even though there there was evidence they claimed in the video a meeting that, that uh, they, the video conference that they had. And uh, then the judge, dis the judge dismissed it in uh, uh, Michigan. And there was a dismissal of uh, as well in Pennsylvania, irrespective of the dismissal we see or, or the the uh, blocking the certification in uh, in Pennsylvania. Now, that means that it's the automatic when when the judges at that level dismiss, it means it's fast tracked to the Supreme Court if if there are nodes of power that don't otherwise interfere. So know where we actually are right now, as I as I'm going to leave you here in just a moment. You've got to understand the real world for what it is. There's no more time to hear somebody with an accent, to waste your time with somebody with an accent you find interesting or pretty enough or whatever it is, uh, because you want to just, you think you're just going to bide your time. We have got to get go free to as many people as we can. And we've got to do it fast. We saw the video just the other day of the, the German soldiers coming through the door. Uh, many of you saw this. Uh, that'll be the kind of thing that happens here. In, in a short order, if the Democrats get uh, both senators in Georgia and we see the wonderful uh, President Biden sitting on what will become the throne of, uh, of a, a forever Democrat-run uh, United States of America, very quickly, everything they're talking about, anti-whites who call themselves Democrats, everything they're talking about doing right away would end the uh, ability of the Republican Party to slow down or thwart anything the Democrats want to do, which would mean the Republican Party would have to immediately flip and become something that you don't recognize, even if you say, well, it is so effete today. You wait until they are as anti-white as the Democrats to get elected. And then we, I get the message, and I've, I've really got to go, I got so much to do for white well-being, and I hope you all feel the same way. Absolute no toleration for any more of this time-biting, excuse-giving bullshit from people across this sphere. And idiots who want to say and argue that you vote for vote for these Democrats, vote down ticket for Democrats, or whatever it is, they should be, they're the ones who should be remembered because we're not the conservatives. They are going to be the ones who need to be remembered for all time as the traitors to Western kind. Because there's not going to be any easy way to come back. There's not any easy pushback from this if the Democrats get everything that they want. According to the Republicans, of course, according to the Republicans. But this is the world you need to understand that is really happening. 
that is really taking place that people are really having to live with. And it might not be you today, but it will be you tomorrow. It'll give us a, a civilization that isn't worth living in. It's nothing that could be called civilization. So I get these messages coming in. I got to get seven minutes. I, I got to roll. I get these message coming in that we have uh, people who are otherwise, you know, staunch. And I'm going to call them out. Red Elephant's guy, who apparently the other day was throwing a tantrum about uh, the Republican Party and others throwing a tantrum about the Republican. Well, you can hate them all you want. The Republic, you need both of those senators in Georgia as much as the uh, the woman who's running is 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 scum or whatever she is. You need both of those senators to be Republican if you don't want to see the kind of things that I have been talking about in the Democrat bills happen like this. You need that to happen. So a message out to Vince and to anybody else that's hearing, grow up, act like a man. There's no more time to just throw tantrums about these things. No more time to throw t tantrums about Donald Trump. Do you need bodies in your yard of, of our people being uh, killed before you finally realize that you have to be an adult? Grow the hell up and stop ignoring going free. Shit's sake. It is the only thing changing people's lives, and it has been working for two decades. Specifically, the doctrine for 15 years, everything that we've been using here is working. So make sure you tell all of these doom documenters and these doom dissectors that, hey, you stupid ass SOB, we are almost out of time. The water level is at our nose. We've got to start effectuating change. So you talk about the news all day you want. You could talk about these issues all day. How you gonna? How you want to make a, tr a next Trump revolution? You could talk about how awful the Republican Party is and how much they betrayed you. How they're not coming out enough. You could talk about that all day you want. But if you're not talking about what's working, you just want to get out in the streets and, and say a couple things and think that's going to make all the difference. It hasn't made any difference. You have no ideology to fight for. This this is everything is on the verge of changing right now. You've got to move like the devil is at your back. And that's all I have the time for. I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting back to work for white well-being. You have got to move like the devil is at your back. Go free.